Yo guys, what's going on? Monday to 6 here back with the 2004 Toyota Sequoia and today we're going to be going over some of the features, hidden features, and Easter eggs on your Sequoia. Hope you guys enjoy. Alright, first thing we're going to cover is the exterior of the Sequoia. I'm going to go ahead and show you a couple options here. How to roll the windows down and the back window down with your key fob and key. All right, if you're at the back of the Sequoia here and you want to roll the back window down, just grab your key fob here, hold the uh, rear window button down, and the rear window should roll down just like that. Now, if you want to roll the window back up, there are two options here. This will not roll the window up. You just get an audible click, so you can come over here to the key lock. Hold it to the right, and the window will roll up. There also is a manual button here inside the cab, but you will have to turn the ignition on in order to roll up the window. The ignition is turned on. You can come over here and simply just hit the up button, and the window will roll up. And if you want to roll the back window down, if you don't have a key fob, you can come over here to the key lock and the tailgate, hold it to the left, the back window will roll down, and simply just turn it to the right, hold it, the back window will roll up. Okay, this next feature here, we're going to take the key, we're going to use it in the uh, door handle lock here. This will roll down the driver, passenger front, and the sunroof. I wish they would have integrated it into the key fob, but just go ahead and take a look at it here. Hold it to the right. Window is rolling down, passenger, and sunroof is rolling back. Pretty cool little option there. And if you want to roll them back up, simply turn it to the left, hold it. The windows and sunroof are coming back. Pretty cool feature. Okay, that pretty much covers it for the exterior of the Sequoia. Let's go ahead and move to the inside here and let's look at all the features it has to offer. If you're not used to the ignition in a Sequoia here and you've never done it, so when you go ahead and you turn it on accessory, all you have to do is bump the key and the engine will start. You don't have to hold the key in spot to you know engage the starter. This is simply all you have to do. Starts right up. Cool little trick you learn. Okay, we'll start up top here in the information center. Um, several different buttons here. Um, we can go ahead and change it from Celsius to Fahrenheit for the temperature. You have one, two, three right here. This is uh, programming modes here for different garage door openers, which you can see when you hit that, little house pops up, which is pretty cool. We have a mode button here, changes uh, your average miles per gallon, your instant miles per gallon, your um, empty gauge here, DTE, and then you can simply turn it off. Also up here, have a cool sunglass holder, a couple little remote controls in it. Also your sunroof, if your Sequoia is equipped with one. Comes with the uh, buttons here for the sunroof. So if you simply just want to tilt your sunroof, just kind of vent it, you can do that. Just with the little tilt button, slide, the whole sunroof slides into the cab. You bring it back. Pretty cool. Also here on the mirror, we have an auto dimming feature for the headlights behind you. It will auto dim the rear view mirror. For the visors, you might see like, hey, got a double visor here. So you can take this main visor slide it over here in case the sun is in your eyes also has another extender here which pretty much covers the whole glass and then you have this other visor here which you can put in front of you which is pretty cool and this is on the driver and passenger side so the double visor option 
is pretty cool to have. All right, let's go ahead and look at the options here on the dash. So we have a, a rear air conditioning for the back passengers, which you can turn on. They have AC vents there and there. We'll get to that here in a second. Um, temperature controls, you can turn it all the way cold, all the way hot, fan speed, low, high. Let's see here, you can turn it off. You got your AC button. We have front defrost, recirculator button, and rear heater. And for the four wheel drive, we have four wheel drive and differential lock. Also, there is a cigarette lighter here. And we have two of them over here on the passenger side. Little cubby features here. We have an ashtray, never been used. And this feature is pretty cool. Cup holder. Pretty stout little thing. I really wouldn't put a big cup in it, but if you just have a little cup of water, you know, just a little cup, you can go ahead and use it. Just push it back in. Pretty cool. Okay, let's talk about some AC here. So when it comes to the Sequoia, awesome AC, phenomenal. Everybody inside the truck's happy. Come over here, turn the AC on, crank it all the way down. You can hear it. Moves a lot of air. Super nice air conditioning. Come over here, you can click the rear button. Once that's clicked, there is air moving throughout the whole cab. Let's go ahead and jump in the back seat here and see the features for the passengers for the AC. All right, we are in the back seat. These are the controls here for the passengers. We can put it on your main body, body feet, feet low and high. You can actually turn it off. Once you turn it on, get nice air blowing out of these vents. Vent here, vent there, and a vent back here, which is awesome to have this air. Feels pretty, uh, pretty awesome. All right, let's check out this Easter egg that most people don't know about. The famous ball chiller. There we go. That thing blowing. Awesome. Love it. Thank you, Toyota. Okay, let's go over some of the features here on the center console. So this is your mirror adjusters here. There is also a function for your mirrors to turn in. So if you're parked and you don't want anybody to hit your mirrors, just simply hit this button and your mirrors will fold in. Right, let's go ahead and check this out. Just come over here, hit this button. Also here on the center console, these two buttons over here for the driver and passenger heated seats. We have a high setting and a low setting. Pretty nice on those uh, cold winter days. All right, let's come over here to the center console, this top lid part. Let's go ahead and look at it. The features on here, we have a clip here. This will hold a notepad that goes here. This is broken on a lot of Sequoias, but this pretty much holds the paper down to your notepad. Nice little cubby here. Coin holder, which is awesome. Let's flip up the lid. Nice deep pocket here. Also on the back too, holds a lot of stuff. Have a DVD in here. Pirates of the Caribbean. Dun, 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 That's right. Um, DVD player. Just slide this back, have to turn on the accessories to get the DVD out. I'll show you here in just a second. All right, this DVD player is functional. It is an option with some Sequoias. DVD comes out just like that. Goes in, load it up, close this. Have to turn on the ignition. It will automatically switch to aux, which that is the audio portion of it. And we'll go to the back here, flip the uh, DVD screen down and you can watch some Pirates of the Caribbean or whatever favorite DVD or CD you have. Once you put your DVD in the DVD player, it will automatically switch to aux on your radio. So that can play the music through the whole stereo system of the vehicle. Back here, you also have aux jacks for the passengers. They can hook up headphones and they can also control radio stations back here if they want to listen to music. But let's check this out. 
DVD player is in great shape here. Also have the factory remote, which is hard to find. So if you have this, good job. If not, try finding it on eBay or you know maybe the salvage yard if they have it. Let's go ahead and turn this on. Source button. Let's go ahead. You can you see you have a, a video, DVD, AM, FM. Let's just go to the DVD right now. Click on that. And look who we got here. Dun, 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 Jack Sparrow. So we DVD system works great. Nice little feature to have if you have everything to make it work. Not only is this a DVD player, but you can also play video games on it. You have everything you need here on this console. Check this out. So you come down here. It's kind of hard to tell, but if you get down here, check this out. Video in right here. RCAs. So you can hook up your N64 if you want to play GoldenEye 007. And also, you can hook up your power. So you can hook this up, RCAs, and then all you have to do is switch that, the input there, to get these RCA signals. Pretty cool. And in order to power this on, I will show you the switch on the dash. So the switch is here on the dash. It has a built-in LED that will light up. You can just press this button here and you have your power for the rear console. If you're worried about you and all your passengers and not having anywhere to put your beverage cups and drinks, the Sequoia has you covered. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. 10 total cup holders in the Sequoia. Hydration is not going to be a problem. The Sequoia has you covered. You want some room to put stuff? Let's talk about cubbies here. We have one cubby. If you want to use the ashtray, you got two cubbies. We got three. We got four. We got five. Come over here to the driver door. We have six. Passenger door, we have seven. Back door, we have eight other back door we have nine the back back row we have ten plenty of room in here and check this out eleven let's see twelve here and thirteen let's not forget the back of the seats fourteen fifteen sixteen here in the back this is for the rear AC we will consider this the seventeenth here in case you don't have a bottle jack in the back. All right, looks like 17 cubbies. In the back seat here, we do have an armrest that folds down. Nice little feature to have so both the passengers can uh, rest their arms. Okay, we have a couple more features here in the back of the Sequoia to go over. Let's go ahead and talk about some of the stuff. First, I went ahead and I, I got this little cargo net here so you can put like your lawn chair in it or your groceries, you know, so they don't slide around in the back. You probably have these in the back and you're probably wondering what they do. They're on both sides, let me show you. If you don't have the cargo net and you're only getting a couple groceries here that you don't want sliding around in the back of the Sequoia, these are grocery bag holders. Pretty cool, so they don't slide around in the back. Also the cargo net will do the same thing. It'll hold all your groceries in place. If you're also wondering what this is right here, this is for a cargo cover. The cargo cover attaches here and here where I put my switch. And simply it's just a cargo roll so it protects everything in the back so nobody can look into the back and see what you have back here. A little cool feature to have. Haven't had any luck uh, finding one. They're pretty hard to find but would be nice to be able to cover up the uh, area in the back of the Sequoia. Also in the back here we have a 12 volt. 120 watt cigarette lighter outlet so you can power whatever you want in the back of the Sequoia. Okay, let's talk about these rear seats here. Kind of a cool feature here that Toyota did. You can either lay the seats forward, flip them up, or completely take them out. So let's go ahead and go over each feature. All right, this is how you lean the seats forward. Just simply push on that lever, the seat will go forward. If you need more room and you need the seats to flip up, simply grab this handle, flip them up. If you want to remove these seats, simply pull up on this red here, 
and this guy at the same time. Should be able to remove the seat. Removing those seats gives us plenty of room, but if you need more, we can take these rear seats and we can fold them up and tilt them forward. Let's check that out. Right, leaning these seats forward are a two-part operation. Just lift up on this handle. And then this guy right here. And the seat will go forward. Now leaning this seat forward is a one-part operation. Just lean this forward. And I'll go as easy as that. So with the back seats removed and the middle row folded up, this gives us six and a half feet of clearance. All right, how many of you know what this is right here? Toyota VIP. So we come over here, this came with the owner's manual. So Toyota VIP, Vehicle Intrusion Protection. Pretty much is after you lock your vehicle, you wait 30 seconds till the security light starts blinking. And there's a microphone in here that's supposed to pick up a glass breaking sound. And you're supposed to simulate that with tapping your key on the glass. Uh, I tried this about 20 times and I cannot get this to chirp or do anything. And I'm not gonna break my glass to get it to work. So maybe this was disabled, you know, during one of the recalls or maybe the previous owner had it disabled but this is what it is right here try to get it to work on your vehicle but i can't get it to work so that's exactly what this vip is right here on the dash all right that pretty much covers it for all the features here on the sequoia hopefully you learned a little something here maybe a couple easter eggs and as always guys monday 86 out